Hey, Banquo, did you see the way those donkeys legged it when I killed their captain? Yes, I did, Macbeth. Cowards, every last one of them. Yes, Macbeth. Pere, behaving like that, turned on us. He did, Macbeth. What a traitor! Unbelievable! Yes, Macbeth. Lucky I couldn't catch him. Yes, Macbeth. I sorted out all that lot, pretty much single-handed. Yes, Macbeth. Ah, oh, I don't believe it. Mind you, I wasn't surprised at the behaviour of those donkeys, you know. They're a cowardly bunch, every last one of them. No fighting them whatsoever. Yes, Macbeth. And Banquo, did you see that last one? I stick my sword right in his belly. Guts everywhere, blood spurting all over the place. What a mess. Yes, I saw that, Macbeth. Thunder, lightning, or in rain. When the hurly burly's done. When, when the battle's lost and won. Do you know what? I'm bored of all of this. Yeah, me too. What is a hurly burly anyway? Why don't we have some fun? <gasps> what sort of fun? Hurly burly. Is it a kind of musical instrument? We could burn down the monastery. No, we've done that several times. How about we dive to the bottom of the Venus pool and when someone walks along, we leap naked from the water and shout, boo! No, it, it's too cold for that. Oh, yes, and I'm getting too old for that sort of carry on. I know. Why don't we make some bizarre Ooh. prophecies to someone, make them come true and then sit back and watch the consequences. Now that could be good for a laugh. Mm. <laughs> They'd have to be really bizarre prophecies. And they'd have to be really gullible. And a bit vain. And pretty stupid. <gasps> Macbeth! Ah, oh, yes, Macbeth. The Thane of Pilchard. Uh, well, well, actually, it's not Pilchard. It's Pilcher, as in the monument. I think you've taken a shine to him. <gasps> you have, haven't you? He's a bit short. And fat. And hairy. Well, I think he's, he's quite sweet. And he's got lovely eyes. Sweet, lovely eyes. His eyes are far too close together. But never mind that, he's perfect for our game. Now I've got a plan. All together, girls. Fair is foul and foul is fair. Hover through the fog and filthy air. <laughs> Is this the hobble bobble pit? No, that's late. And how many times do I have to tell you it's double, double toil and trouble? Hubble doesn't come into it. Well, where have I got hubble from then? Hubble bubble, honey. Oh, very confusing. What man is that? A messenger, father. Come to tell us how we fared in the battle against the Guernsey invaders. Come on, man. <gasps> What's the news? Those donkeys. They really play dirty, Mr. Senior, sir. And the Thane of Little Sark, he's turned against us. He's killed some of our own men. But Macbeth, he was amazing. Thrusting and swishing his sword and chopping people's heads off. 
There was blood everywhere. And I saw this one man. He had all his guts hanging out. Oh, yes. Yes, get on with it. Well, in the end, we won. Kick those donkeys' backsides good and proper. And they've scarfed back to Guernsey now, thanks to Macbeth. Macbeth, ah. Ah, yes, the Thane of Pilchard. No, father, the Thane of Pilcher, as in the monument. Of course, yes, Pilcher. Ah, well, let's have that traitor's perry chappy executed, and then I can make Macbeth Thane of Little Sark. Here, man. Favour. Right, here we are. Off you go. Catch him up and give him the good news. Hey, Banquo! What about that last bloke? They tried to sneak up on me from behind. He won't try that again. No, I doubt he will, Macbeth. Of course, you know where they all make their mistake, don't you? They all think, because I'm a fat bloke, I can't move very quickly. That's just where they're wrong. Surprises them every time. Yes, Macbeth. Quick, they're coming. What the? All hail, Macbeth. Hail to thee, Thane of Pilchard. It's Pilcher, actually. Shh. All hail, Macbeth. Hail to thee, Thane of Little Sark. All hail, Macbeth. Thou shalt be senior hereafter. Blimey. This, this is weird. But, but what about me? Thou shalt get seniors, though thou be none. So all hail, Macbeth and Banquo. <laughs> <laughs> what was all that about? Bunch of lunatics. Not right in the head if you ask me. But they said that your children would be seniors, but not you. And you should be fain of little Sark. And senior. Nonsense all of it. Oh, don't you start. Just give me the message. Well, bugger me. What is it? I am writing to inform you that you are now the Thane of Little Sark. But how can that be? The Thane of Little Sark still lives, just. No, he's been executed for treason. Little Sark's all yours, for what it's worth. That means that what the witches said is coming true. I am Thane of Little Sark. Looks that way. And if something should happen to Duncan, I'd become senior of Sark. Think not such thoughts, my friend. That's treason. Come on, let's get home. Anyway, they were just a bunch of weirdos. I mean, who else would hang around the woods at this time of year? And did you smell that cauldron? Yuck! And one of them was making eyes at you. Get away! She was, I swear! Strange, stinky, witchy eyes. Post. Dearest heart, I've got some amazing news. On our way back from the battle, Banquo and I met some weird women in the woods. Oh, strange girls. But they said that I shall be Thane of Little Sark. And the next minute I heard that young Pere has been executed for treason, and the senior has made me Thane of Little Sark. How about that? But it gets better. 
They also said that one day I'll be Senya. Me, Senya. Now, wouldn't that be something? Senya. That would mean we'd get to move to the seigneury, leave this drafty old place behind. I never loved this house. She just wants a new house. Shh! I'd have new curtains and rugs and candles, lots more candles. Oh, and those tapestry things on the wall. Oh, and swags, oodles of swags with tassels on. We could keep doves. Imagine that, doves. Oh, and I'd have lots of new clothes and jewels, plenty of jewels. Oh, would that make me Dame? Is that how it works? Dame Lady Macbeth. Oh, I like the sound of that. Or would it just be Dame Macbeth? Oh, and we'd have towers and turrets. I've always wanted turrets. I'm such a turrety sort of girl. What is this fascination with turrets? It's sexual. Turrets. She's obsessed. Be quiet and listen. I think this is going to get really interesting. I'll be home later, my love. Stoke up the fire in the bedroom. Indeed I will. Could be your lucky night, my little thaney waney Your loving husband... Oh, and Thane of Little Sark, Macbeth. P.S. The Senya's coming to stay tonight. Tonight? The Senya? Staying here? I'll have to make up the spare room and get some more food in. But wait a minute. This could be our big chance. The weird women in the woods said that Macbeth would be Senya. But that can't happen until the old senior Duncan dies. Macbeth could kill him tonight while he's asleep. Perfect. Now, where did I put that stain remover? Yes, I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, but then again, I'm not sure Macbeth's got it in him to murder someone in cold blood. See, I told you he was sweet, really. Oh, you do fancy him. Will you both just shut up? I'm going to have to use all my womanly wiles. Oh, Macbeth, this is definitely going to be your lucky night. Servant? Yes, lady. Run my bath for me and make sure to put in plenty of perfume. Oh, and lay out my best silk underwear. Right away, my lady. Oh, yes. Quite a night. I'm home, dear. Oh, my love, my big brave noble thane of little salt. I'm so glad you're home. I've read your letter and I have the most amazing plan. Oh, I don't like the sound of this. I know your plans. Is this going to cost me lots of money? Oh, no, no. Au contraire. This is going to make us money. We'll be rich and powerful and we'll get to live in the seigneury. Well, that sounds good. Tell me now, what's the plan? Oh, nothing complicated. You just need to kill the seigneur. Kill the seigneur? Yes, tonight. Kill the seigneur tonight? He's in our house. Yes. But then you'll be Senya, like the weird women in the woods said, and we'll get to live in the seigneury. But kill the Senya? In cold blood? I knew he'd say that. Now, now, my strong and handsome and clever Thane, you've killed dozens of people before, so I know you can do it. Oh, poor little me. <sighs> Come upstairs and I'll explain exactly what I have in mind. Now, why don't I help you out of those awful dirty clothes? How about a nice hot bath? Well, uh... Oh, you must be aching all over after all that battling. How about one of my special back rubs? Well, now you mention it, I am a little bit stiff. Oh, my thing, the naughty, naughty! But I didn't mean it like that! Ah, then again. Men, what is 
is it? They're so weak. Oh, you're, you're only jealous. No, I'm not. I'm just saying. I've seen the way you look at him. What is it with you and short, fat, hairy men? He's not that short. Will you two pipe down? Look, the senior's coming. Here we are, daughter. Macbeth's house. It looks a bit grim. I bet they don't even have inside running water. Nonsense, Matilda. It's a lovely house. I have a great feeling about it. Good evening, your seniorship. Welcome to our humble abode. Do come in. Oh, uh, Banquo. Duff too. And who's this pretty young thing? Pick her up in the village, did you? Lady Macbeth, take care what you're saying. This is the senior's daughter, Matilda. She's a proper lady. Terribly sorry. She looks just like one of the girls from the Mermaid Tavern. <laughs> my mistake. After you, my dear. <laughs> Macbeth, darling, they're here. If it were done, when it is done, then to a well it were done quickly. What? Go on, get on with it. He'll be asleep now. I can't do it. I I've changed my mind. What do you mean, you've changed your mind? See, I told you he was a nice man, really. Shh! I just can't do it. He's the senior, and he's in our house. I have given suck, and know how tender it is to love the babe that milk me. I would, while it was still smiling in my face, have plucked my nipple from its boneless gums and dashed its brains out, had I so sworn as you have done to this. Why are you talking like this? I'm saying stop being a wuss. There's nothing to worry about. I've wooed his guard with wine and wassail and taken his dagger. What do you mean wassail? You go easy on the wassailing. I know what you're like when you've had a drink. Stab the senior, smear the guard with his blood and leave the dagger next to him. It'll look like he murdered the senior. Is that a dagger I see before me? The handle to my hand! Come, let me clutch thee! I have thee not, and yet I see thee still. Art thou a fatal vision? An imagined dagger? No, it's a real flipping dagger. Now go and kill the senior before I kill you. There's a real mean streak in you, isn't there? saying sleep no more. Macbeth doth murder sleep. Oh, get a grip. Well, well, why didn't you do it then? Well, he looks just like my father when he's asleep. And anyway, you're my big strong thane of little Sark. And now, senior of Sark. What? You short, fat, hairy fool. You were supposed to smear the guard with that and then leave it next to him so it looked like he murdered the senior. Give it here. If you want a job doing properly, do it yourself. Oh, 
And for God's sake, go and wash those hands. If anyone sees you looking like that, we're done for. Yes, dear. <laughs> such a dastardly deed. It was the Senior's guard. I found him with his very own dagger covered in blood. But it's all right because I've killed him. Oh, my big brave boy. Mm, it's all looking very suspicious to me. This is looking very bad for me. I'm the next in line to be Senior. Everyone's bound to think I killed my father. And the real murderer's likely to come after me next. What can I do? Where can I go? Never you fear, dear child. I have a good friend in Jersey. I'll take you there right away. Oh, that's so kind of you. So tell me about this friend of yours in Jersey. Well, he's called Helia, and he and I were at school together. He's got a lovely big house in St Juan's. Peacocks, turrets, very romantic. And walking distance to the beach. You'll be safe there with me. Oh, it sounds perfect. Hang on a minute. Aren't you married? Well, technically, yes. live in the big house you really have got to develop some manners oh i'm sorry my love no not like that either i'll do it isn't there something else you can be getting on with well actually i could do with popping out i need to see a man about a dog i won't be long well don't be long everyone will be here soon and don't forget to open the wine and you could smarten yourself up a bit <sighs> yes dear Men! Oh, women. Psst. Who's there? Macbeth, it's us. Blimey, you're jumpy. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I haven't been sleeping too well. Anyhow, did you get my letter? Yes, yes sir. sir. And you know what you have to do? Yes, sir. Kill Banquo, sir. Yes, kill Banquo and... Uh, remind us. Kill Banquo and his son Fleance. Oh, yes, we remember. Kill Banquo and Fleance. Do you know why? Uh, because you're paying us. No, because they're evil traitors intent on destroying the feudal order on Sark. Yeah, yeah, because they're evil traitors intent on destroying and all that. Does that mean you're not paying us? Yes, of course I'm paying you. Now go and get on with it. Let me know as soon as the job's done. Then you'll get your money. Yes, sir, right away, sir. Consider it done, sir. He's in a right state, isn't he? Looks like he hasn't slept in years. Yeah, you see those bags under his eyes? And he's jittery, very jittery. Do you think he's losing the plot? Oh, I don't care as long as he's paying us. Oh, 
Ladies, fellow lords and ladies, welcome to our humble abode. I'd just like to thank you all for coming. And if anyone would like a guided tour after dinner, then I'd only be too pleased to show you around. The new tapestries, handmade on sale from the finest goat's wool, are looking fabulous. And I'm really rather pleased with what I've done with the turrets. What is it with her and turrets? Turrets. Everybody knows it's a sex thing. So it's with great sorrow that our former senior, dear Duncan, was so tragically taken from us by his guard. <laughs> but life goes on. It doesn't for Duncan. Oh, very fishy. So I'd like you all to raise your glasses to our new senior, my dear husband, Macbeth. Yes. Smile, dear. Everyone's looking at you. Well, well, I'm trying, but it's just there's something I need to tell you. Now's not the time. It's about my friend Banquo. He knows about the prophecy and he's been getting really suspicious, dropping all sorts of hints about how it was strange that Duncan got murdered in our house. Yes, and? Well, I've decided that I'm going to have him killed. You? What? Yes, and his son Fleance too, because the witch is said... Lady Macbeth, lovely banquet. Tell me, where do you source your tapestries? I've looked all over Sark and I can't find a single one. My lord, there's two gentlemen to see you outside. Right, right, thank you. We've done it. Yeah, done it good and proper. Bit messy it was, but it's done. Excellent. So that's Banquo and Fleance both dead? Well, uh... What? Well, not technically. You see, Fleance fleed. Fleed? He means fled. Yeah, fled into the night. Real quick he was. You idiots. I told you I wanted them both dead. Does this mean we won't be paid? Well, you've only done half a job. So you're only getting half the money. Now, bugger off. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Buggering off, sir. A ghost. But, but, but can't you see it? I mean, him, Banquo. I've just had him killed. Th that's a, a ghost. Come, my lord. Take your seat. What's got into you? I've been planning this for weeks and you're upsetting the guests. Oh, I'm sorry. Perhaps the venison was off. I'll be fine. Which one of you has done this? It's not funny! Oh, he makes a cracking ghost. Much better than when he was alive. Oh, poor Macbeth, he's looking awfully pale. Shake not thy gory locks at me! Don't worry, everybody. He's been suffering terribly recently. Awful stomach upsets. Oh, the smells. Will you pull yourself together? This is getting ridiculous. And you're ruining my lovely banquet. <laughs> well, it's been a lovely evening, but I really ought to be off now. Yes, so, so must I. Fabulous banquet. I'd love the recipe for that venison sometime. But what about seeing the turrets? Oh, don't worry about Macbeth. It's just a bug going round. Nothing to 
to worry about? A bug? My ass! if you ask me, he's been hitting the ball. <laughs> they both have, looking at the state of them. Do come again! Midnight hags. Oh, it's all going swimmingly. There's been treason and murder, lots of murder. And Macbeth's senior of Sark, and he's going stark, staring mad. It's not his fault. She's led him astray, her and her turrets and all that. And now the old senior's daughter, Matilda's, ran off to Jersey to be with Macduff. Isn't he married? Well, technically. And now Macduff's joined forces with his old crapo pal, Elia de Carteret. Senior of St. Juan. To raise an army to defeat Macbeth. You've got to feel sorry for him. I mean... Living with that mad woman and all those tapestries, it's enough to drive anyone to murder. Oh, um, shut up! Oh, hang on a minute, girls. By the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. Ah! There you are at last. All hail Macbeth, Senior of Sark. OK, that's enough of that. I demand that you tell me right here and right now what the future holds. And I don't want any more of your silly games. So just a minute while we brew up our extra special seeing into the future potion. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Fisherman's eye and lobster's gall. Fish and chips from the island hall. Yesterday's scones, but no sark cream. Bitter grapes, both red and green. Make our hell broth strong and dark. So we can see the future of all on Stark. Macbeth, Macbeth, beware Macduff. Macduff? But he's gone off to Jersey with some floozy. I don't have to worry about him. Be bloody bold and resolute. Laugh to scorn the power of man. For none born of woman shall harm Macbeth. None born of woman? But everybody's born of woman. Maybe things aren't so bad after all. Macbeth shall never vanquish be till Decar Woods to Epercury shall come against him. Decar Woods? To the Epercury? Ah, right. Like that's going to happen. Well, ladies, as weird as you are, you've just made me feel a whole lot better. <sighs> I'm sure she'll do it again. Look, look, here she comes. Yet here, a spot. Listen, she's talking. 
out, out damn spot, out I say. One dagger, why my thane, tis time to do it. Yet who would have thought the old man would have so much blood in him? Tapestries, that's what we need, more tapestries. And we could build towers and turrets. His turrets thrusting up into the sky. She's obsessed by turrets. Keep watching, there's usually more. Banquo? You know that he is buried. He cannot come out of his grave. Oh. Oh, here's still the smell of blood. All oh, the sweet perfumes of Arabia cannot sweeten this little hand. Come. What's done cannot be undone. To bed. To bed. There is knocking at the gate. We need more velvet. Yes, more velvet around the place. Yards and yards of it. And now she'll return to her bed and she'll know nothing of this by morning. This disease is beyond my practice and foul whisperings are abroad. Unnatural deeds do breed unnatural troubles. And unnatural troubles are covered by the health insurance. We have heard what we should not. So speak of this to no one. Or I feel we end up as dead as Banco. Oh, good night, good doctor. Good night. We need more turrets. This one just isn't high enough. And no more murders. I just couldn't cope with any more murders. All the blood. You just can't get it out of the velvet. Oh. Macbeth! No more murders! So tell me, Doctor, what does ail my wife? She's a very troubled lady, my lord. Her mind is full of strange fantasies of murder and treason and self furnishings. But she's always had strange fantasies. Can you cure her? No, my lord. In this instance, the patient must minister to herself. And um, besides, I fear it may be too late. Um, I must be going, but first there's a matter of payment. Well, what about me? No one ever asks about me. Well, I'm fine. Thank you very much for asking. I've never been better. No one can hurt me until D. Carwood moves to the Apercury. And that's not going to happen any time soon. But I'd heard that Hellier and Macduff were coming over from Jersey with an army, and they're intent on wrenching the title of Seigneur away from you. Pah, I've got it on very good authority that none born of woman can harm Macbeth. So there we are. I'm indestructible, me. All the same, I think I'll go and give my sword a polish. Uh, just one moment, my lord. Uh, there's the trifling matter of my fee. Well, you haven't cured her. Oh. Everyone treats me like a walking money bag. It's pay me for curing my wife, and you haven't cured her. It's pay me for this murder. They only did half a job, and the money that she spent on those tapestries. Oh, truth! My Lord de Cartret, Hellier, my friend. Sark at last, and the word is that Macbeth has assembled a vast army on the Apercury. Then that is where we shall fight him. Uh, not much of an army, have we? Nonsense, my child. Highly trained killers, all three of them. Just returned from a secret training programme on the Minkies. Tell me. What is this wood I see before us? Why, tis the great wood of Decar. Then 
Let everyone cut down a branch and bear before them. We will sneak up on that monster Macbeth, cunningly disguised as a forest. Do you really think he's going to fall for that? Of course, my dear, but it's going to be dangerous. I'll keep you safe, but you must promise to stay close. Very, very close. Oh, lead on, Macduff. Come, my lads, follow me. I'm ready for this. Bring on the battle. You haven't got much of an army, sir. Oh, don't let looks deceive you. They're highly trained in the latest killing techniques, every one of them. Mm. They've just been on a course on Latak, you know. Anyway, what do you want? Sir, sir, I bring news from the Seigneury. Well, what is it, man? Your wife, my lord. She's dead. Dead? But, but she was only having a bit of trouble sleeping. You just wait till I get my hands on that bloody money-grabbing doctor. Oh, it's such a shame. I don't know. Life is but a walking shadow. A poor player who struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then he's heard no more. Sir, sir, something strange is going on. Well, what is it, man? Well, I'm not sure, but did you not see that wood over there just move? Don't be ridiculous. That's decar wood. It can't possibly move. OK, sir, just as you say. But didn't you just see it move again? Macbeth shall never vanquish me till decar wood's tripurpury shall come against him. Decar wood? To the apercury? I don't like the look of this. Be bloody bold and resolute. Be bloody bold and resolute. Be bloody bold. Ouch, my brave boy! Make all the noise and threats you want. I laugh to scorn at the power of man. For none born of woman shall harm Macbeth. Then you definitely need to prepare to meet thy fate. For I was from my mother's womb untimely ripped. Ah, 
what do you mean precisely by untimely ripped? Caesarean. She died while she was in labour, and it was the only way out for poor, wee baby Macduff. So uh, you were not born of woman then? Uh, no, not technically. Oh, God. Then I'm done for. Stop! Stop! Don't kill him. Let me have him. I'll take him back to the woods and keep him warm and safe. He'll be mine forever, all mine. M Macduff, kill me! Make it quick! No! Macbeth is dead, and I declare that Helia de Cartret be the next seigneur of Sark. No! And I further declare that this unsavoury piece of history be smote from the history books, for it is a sad tale of betrayal, murder, and evil women getting their own way. Best let people think that Sark was... Overrun by marauding pirates until the arrival of the good Helia de Cartret. Even if he is a crapo. Mm. Hold on a moment. I'm Duncan's daughter. Shouldn't I be senior? I'm sorry, my dear. You know it doesn't work that way. We can't have women in control. They'd wreak havoc. Ha ha ha!